My name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored mountain boarder from the San Francisco Bay Area, and today I'm going to learn five mountain board tricks. Can you teach me? Yes, let's we're, do it. We're here today with actual professional mountain boarder Dylan Warren from Australia to teach Aaron Cairo how to mountain board. All the way from Australia. Yeah. Because of the mountains in Australia. We have mountains. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the first thing first is like, Explain this to me. I did strap in. The straps feel really good. Yeah. The wheels feel really scary. And yeah. The whole thing just feels like I'm just like a full-on mission into death. Wow. This is a mountain board. We have four pneumatic wheels, which means you can pump them up kind of like a bike. And the reason why we have such big wheels is because we ride a lot of dirt trails, dirt tracks, mountain bike trails. You can pretty much ride a mountain board anywhere you want. On real mountains. On real mountains, but even at the skate park, like, you know, street spots. Um, we ride the ski resorts in the summertime. Like Aaron snowboards and skateboards, so it's kind of a good tool to practice for the snowboarding in the uh, off season. And then you can also ride your skateboard on the dirt, which is pretty cool. So we have the big wheels, big trucks here. It's a little bit different to a skateboard truck. We have bushings on both sides of the truck. And because you go pretty fast on the skateboard, it gives you a lot more um, stability and balance. Yeah. And uh, you can tension the truck depending on what type of, type of terrain you like to ride. So people who go super fast do big jumps, they have it quite tight and stiff. But people who like to cruise and like maybe ride rails and stuff like that, you can loosen it off like a skateboard to, to do that. The mountain board deck is similar to a skateboard, but it's wrapped in fiberglass. This is actually my new Pro model, this is a prototype for my new pro, pro model. Prototype? So yeah. This is not yet released. This is not even released, so you guys are getting a little sneak peek. MBS Pro. Leak Warren. it, leak it. Yeah. This is a leak. Yeah, so we actually, I helped design this board, and then maybe when this video comes out, this board will be released. So it's pretty exciting. It's a new design, Aaron Cairo. So you get to ride it before anyone else does. Yes! <laughs> so you're left foot forward, so I'm right foot forward. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. You can ride it any way you want. Is your degree set like a little more that way? You can do that, but I prefer to have it the same because I ride switch a lot, so. So what are you, if, like, 12 degrees? Something like that, it doesn't really matter too much. Okay. But you can obviously move the stance in and out depending on what you prefer, like you would on the snowboard. And yeah, we have the bindings here. These like, it works similar to a snowboard binding. You strap your foot in. You can ride it like you don't need, these are called heel straps. You don't need to wear these if you prefer to have your feet come out. What? Yeah. But if you have your feet fully locked in, then you have the most um, stability. balance and stability and you can push the board. Some people coming from skateboarding get nervous about being strapped in, but in fact it is a lot more stable and you, you get a lot more out of the board. It's way easier. I'm nervous. Nice to meet you. I'm Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> so if you were going to teach it just a random kid yeah. how to mountain board, where would you start? Okay. Five tricks. Okay. Don't kill me. I will not no kill backers. you. No backers. No. So, the most important thing to do on a mountain board is obviously you're going to strap your feet in and you want to keep your knees bent nice and low like this, your chest up nice and strong and you always want to look forward, okay? A mountain board turns exactly like a skateboard on your toes and on your heels. So when you make a right hand turn, you can almost point and push your toes down. You want to have your body open and you can turn to your left and turn on your heels. It's the same as a skateboard, knees bent, chest up and looking forward. You always want to look forward, because if you look forward, you'll go forward. If you look at the ground, you'll fall on the ground. Oh, that's what I've been doing wrong all these years. Yeah, looking at the ground. <sighs> don't Shocker. do that. Should I just we... thought about dropping on the vert ramp, I don't know why, and then it, everything hurt. <laughs> so where do we start? Okay, well, I think we should maybe start on a small ramp, get yeah. some speed going, and see how the board feels for you. Just like basic, that's not even a trick. No, we're going basics. This is just yeah, yeah. getting warmed up, getting the muscles going. Skateboarding made simple volume zero. Yeah. Ride down the bank. So he's gonna get strapped in, and then he's gonna jump around to face the direction he wants to ride. So he's strapping in, he's gonna wind up his shoulders like a spinning top, and jump around like a trampoline to face the front. Perfect. The last time I was on a trampoline, I landed on my head. Well, thank God this is not a real trampoline. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Looking in the direction he wants to go, and we're just gonna Gabe cruise down this hill here. Here we go, cruising. Looking forward, beautiful posture there, it's like he's done this before. Look at that. Yeah, man! So that was really good. He had perfect body posture. He looked forward. 
That's how we do it. Now, everyone loves to do jumps, so maybe we could try do a mountain board ollie. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Yeah, good. Okay. Like flat or? We want flat. And then we'll take it to a ramp maybe. Okay, let's run it. All right, it's a similar motion to a skateboard ollie where you're gonna lift your right foot up. Did you learn to ollie on a skateboard first? Yeah, I've actually been skateboarding for 20 years. Okay, okay. And I got into mountain boarding um, because my friend brought a mountain board to the skate park and I was like, oh man, I don't know if I want to do the mountain board thing. It's like, dude, trust me, you'll have the best time. So he convinced me to try the mountain board at the local golf course. Yeah. So we're flying down the hills, ripping through grass through the bush, a couple of kangaroos, doing big Stop. slides. And it was all the things I couldn't do on a skateboard. Yeah. So at that moment, I fell in love with mountain boarding and it's like taking me around the world. So wow. it's pretty cool. Shout out to the homie. Yeah. Johnny Banford, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Banford, he's the one. <laughs> so, so we're gonna go kind of Exactly like that. So just imagine doing it all on the skateboard. You lift your front foot up, lift your back foot up to level it out. Like on a snowboard, yeah. it's very similar, but on a snowboard I would like put a lot of pressure on the tail and then almost like pop off the tail. Like yeah. boom. Exactly. And then you bring your back foot up to level it out. All right, go for it. Oh. So you can obviously just like jump like a trampoline. But if you do it correctly in a proper ollie like that, it actually gives you more height if you're going to ollie over something. So right now, Aaron's going to jump over the curb. Over? Yeah. I was thinking we we're going to start with maybe 50-50? 50-50 the small box? All right, push me up the hill. Whoa, switch stance, first try. All right, imagine ollie, okay? Lift the front up. Wait, am I fast enough? No, no! <laughs> what? That is sick! Uh, remember everything I ever taught you, Aaron. Yes, pop it, pop it. Yeah! Oh. And again, back it up, back it up. Yep, yep. Oh. Oh. It's too easy. Dude, it's too easy. It's you easy. can mountain board at home too. Does that count as trick one? That's trick one. Woo! Do I need the mic on? Oh, you don't have it on? No. What the heck? We gotta do at least one grind in here. Probably. I think you gotta do something on flat, grind, stairs, quarter pipe, and then Rail drop? mystery. All right, push me up there. <laughs> How does one stop a mountain board? That's a story for another time. <laughs> so, we just completed the Ollie over the curb challenge, and now we're gonna step it up to Ollie off a ramp challenge. Should we 180 the ramp? Yeah. We scared? I'll yeah. ollie then 180. Good Just for extra, cool. extra credit. I seriously needed to know how to stop. I asked him how to stop and he said, that's a good question. How do you stop? So now we're stepping up to the big leagues. Do I need to push into it? You need Probably, to push. Right? But the key is, Aaron, when you're going off a ramp, you need to keep your knees bent. Yeah. You need to stare at the middle of the ramp. Middle? Middle of the ramp. You yeah. don't want to go off the side. Okay, and okay. you're gonna do your ollie like we practice over the curb off the ramp and okay. land with your knees bent looking forward. Like you do, not nah, that forward, yeah, great. Would you like a boost? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe boost it back into the QP. Oh, you're gonna go QP then? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here he goes. Big as a, as a car, right? Pump it. Wow. Wow. How was that air cruise? Never seen something more <laughs> graceful. I was like, yeah, I'll 180, now I'm, I'm sweating. Literally. Do 360, I'll buy you Jamba Juice. 360, you'll buy me Jamba Juice? Yeah. Damn, I'll buy you one as well. Double Just, Jamba. We'll stick on the 180, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna try the 180. The important thing when you're doing a spin on a mountain board, kind of like on a skateboard, you're gonna approach the ramp with your shoulders wound up like this, still looking at the ramp. When you're gonna pop, you're gonna rotate your shoulders around and land, look forward, Bob's your uncle. What does that mean? It means great work, dude. All right, you're gonna do the traverse? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, there we go for bunnies. Oh, boy! Yeah! Wait, wait for it. In a line. So that's trick number two. Yeah. Maybe you go 50-50 next? Can you 50-50 that or the wheels are too yeah. big? You can do anything you set your mind to, Aaron. Oh. Yeah, never give up. Never that's give what up. I've been waiting for. We're gonna shut that door, I'm gonna body because it's bad luck. <laughs> How you think you're doing? Guys, I don't think this is gonna grind. It's gonna grind. Oh, it's gonna grind. This is where skateboarding meets mountain boarding. You can grind 
obstacles like this, handrails, you can do all sorts of things. But I didn't realize like how like off to the side it was gonna be. Like it's really like, whoa. But what happens is when your weight's over it, you're actually gonna be over the top. You're gonna be over it and your momentum is going to carry it forward. Momentum. Okay, every trick I've done in my mind, oh, oh, this is very easy. And then before I start, I get real nervous. Like now I'm standing here on this, I'm thinking, I'm dead, dude. So, you know, maybe. Maybe you'll be reborn as a professional mountain builder. <laughs> we come from the land of oh! Oh! Boy! That's too easy! Come on, Cruz! Come on, you wanna switch dance it? Oh, with the switch, Vinny? That was trick four. No, just kidding. So now Aaron Cairo is going to try the 50 50 grind. And what we learned before was the 180 with the turning of the shoulders. He's going to grind and then 180 off. Whoa. Straight into a bunning snag. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I almost lost it all. <laughs> he, he just said, you look nervous. And I said, yeah, I am nervous. He said, it's just half a 180. I know, but for some reason, the transition, not my friend. I'll just whoosh. Boom. So jump in like that? Yeah. No. Yeah. Or from here. So strap in, strap in there and then hop forward. Yeah. And then from that? Yeah. No, you're kidding. Yeah, you just gotta turn. <laughs> this is okay, but you standing up here. You you sure I don't just roll in kinda like this and just roll it you out? You can try it, but it's you know it's easier if you do the way I talk. Really? Yeah. As your mountain board coach. Are you official mountain board coach? Oh, yeah. I teach kids all around the world how to mountain board. And any of those kids die? Not one. Not one died? Yeah. Well, there's always room for a first. <laughs> there's always room for an adult to die. Okay, so, Aaron, Am congratulations. Yeah. You've made it to the coping. This is sketch. And it doesn't seem like you're coping too well. No. But I promise it's going to be okay. You think? It's going to be great. Tell me what to do. Okay. You're off the rails, Aaron. Yeah. So, similar to your 180 that we did before, yeah. that you nailed, you go into. I jump this way. Yes, okay. You're going to slightly rotate. Right. You're going to rotate your shoulders like this. Yeah. You're going to lean forward a little bit and jump into the ramp. And then? And then look at the coping because it's coming up quick. That way? Yeah. And then? You're going to do a little rock to fake it. No. Do you want me to show you that? Yeah. Yes. On the coping, rotate your shoulders, turn it. Rock to fake it. I feel like everybody who watches these videos think that I'm just acting. I'm not actually scared. I'm, I'm scared. For real. This is no he doesn't know how to act either. cap. I think you just count down three, two, one, and then just let out a battle cry. Yeah, battle cry for sure. Headphone users, be aware. Okay. Three, two, one. Yeah, I mean, we dropped in that one. The next trick number before. five, five stair. I think yeah. it only makes sense. It's not even a trick. That's a death wish. Three stair first, then five? Sure. Oh, thanks, Gabe. <laughs> I mean, I've done the three stair, so that ain't nothing. You know what I like about this over skateboarding? Yeah. You can't bail. Yeah, you got no options to it. Because on a skateboard, I'm such a wiener. I always bail. Yeah, now you can't choice. You like Iron Maiden? Yeah. Me too. Run, run, run. 
Dang. That was way too good. Yeah, easy. This five stair is about to be about to be easy for you. Yeah, we just move all that and full send it. Might have to hit the free block. All right, any last words? I mean, any words you want to say? Thank you, Mom, for raising me with a good sense of values. And um, listen to your mom, kids. What we say in Australia is work hard and be good to your mother. So, as my official coach, should I look at it first? Yeah, you can do this and look at it like you're doing currently right it now. It looks a little bit bigger than I imagined it would look from the bottom. Well, it actually looks like it's three stairs plus two. One, two, three, four, five. Hive. All right, probably shouldn't have looked at it. Now my legs are shaking. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Mom's spaghetti. Gabe, now that I'm up here, I'm thinking there's better things we could do with our time. I agree with you. I agree with you, good sir. Woo! I am sweating. I haven't been sweating like this since the 1984 Denver Broncos game. <laughs> First try! How'd that feel? That felt great. Feels like I'm snowboarding. Bonus one on how you stop a mountain board. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. How do you do it? Okay, great question, Aaron Gary. <laughs> <laughs> this is bonus round, how you stop on a mountain board, okay? So on a mountain board, you're obviously fully strapped in, but the way you stop on a mountain board, if you're riding down a grass hill, which is what I recommend you start learning to mountain board grass on. Hill. Grass hill, not a really cool skate park, but you can do that. But if you're oh, riding wow. down the hill and you want to stop on a mountain board, it's just like a snowboard. So you'd, you'd turn up the hill on your toes or up the hill on your heels. So you'd turn up the hill to slow down and stop. But what you can also do is what's called a power slide. And the power slide is what <coughs> we're about to do right now, Aaron. Does it require power? Not to be confused with the rangers, the power rangers. This is the power slide. So he told you the method. He still has not explained how to do it. <laughs> I know. How do you stop? Good question. <laughs> power slide. Yeah. So you got to ride down. Your left hand grabs the middle of the board between your legs. Oh. Your you right know my back hand, is bad. Your right hand goes on the ground, and you're going to use your muscles to pull the board, and you're going to do a sharp right hand turn. With all that stuff to the right. We'll move the stuff to the right. Or just go. <laughs> left hand, pull, pull, pull. Down on the ground, pull. Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and then crash into the stairs, of course. <laughs> That's how you stop it. You that just crash good. into that a five good. stair. So this time, I'm going to do one more. So you're going to pull it a bit harder. 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 And then you're gonna put your hand on the ground to help you whip around a bit quicker. Oh, the right hand. Okay, rip it hard. Yeah, better, way better. Yes. Wow. It's really hard to get back up, my back seized. Should we just go full send, Gabe? Yeah. Can't just link all of the things you've learned in our five steps to mountain boarding together. Yeah. So we're gonna start with the Ollie jump 180. Okay, what was next? Drop in. 50-50, drop in, big stair jump, power slide. It's a lot of things, Gabe. I forgot them already. Me too. <laughs> the thing about a mountain board is that you gotta full send it. Win in Rome. Oh my God. Hit the dome. Dylan, you just give him the push of your life, brother. You know what I would feel better about is if it was a bank, not a quarter pipe. I'm thinking what I would like to do is push back and roll up, but then I'm like, no, yeah, don't even do that. I'll give you a slow Right, Rick? So he's, uh, he's going to be pushing you at least three times faster than that. More. Yeah, yeah. More speed. Yeah. Need for speed. I think you got it for we sure. We should just go there and you just push me just okay. as fast as you can. Please tell my mom I love her. I will. And my dogs too. Oh! You definitely would have cleared that and he's probably going to push you faster. Let's go. Okay, you ready? Okay, you guys ready? We're ready. Headphone users, watch out! Ah! Let's go! Why, why? <laughs> He's actually shaking. I'm <laughs> shaking, boy. It's freaking. Like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Look forward, lift your knees, land with your knees bent. This is so easy, Aaron. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Oh! 
<laughs> yeah! I need my chiropractor! Yeah! Yeah! We're out! And We're out. there's nothing better than facing a little fear. That was incredible! Shoo! Aaron Cairo, you, you are shoeless, <laughs> but you are officially the king of the mountain. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for your help. <laughs> a big part of what I do back in Australia is actually do something similar to what the team does here at Braille. I like to get people involved in mountain boarding because it's given me so much and I love it so much and it really <coughs> makes me excited when people can pick up mountain boarding and enjoy it as much as I do. So. Yeah, it's super rad. I mean, honestly, I didn't think I would do that and then I did and it was like, okay, it is, it is very similar to snowboarding. Yeah. You know, like on the snowboard, you're like, oh, it's a little hop. Yeah. You know, but on a skateboard, that's like a beefy jump. Yeah, you know, yeah. when you land, you feel it. Yeah. But the mountain board has more like shock resistance, so yeah. you land it, you have more cushion, mm. even though my spine did feel like it was like going. <laughs> All right, well, we learned five tricks. Huge thanks to Dylan. Hell yeah, man. Thank you very much. Woo! <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Check out these videos <laughs> over here if you want to see more mountain boarding with the team at Braille. And we'll see you next week at the Braille House. <laughs> Learn to ride a skateboard. We got everything you need at BrailleSkateboarding.com. Woo!